Hello everyone, praise be to God and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. So, we finished Sora's story in the last episode, but as I mentioned, Let's Play is not over, because there's another story, Riku's story, also known as Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Reverse or Rebirth. This is going to play pretty differently from Sora's story, and it's a lot of fun. I actually might like Riku's story better than Sora's story. I'm still not sure, but it's a lot of fun. Let's get started. It also is crucial to advancing the plot of the game. Or rather, the series, I suppose you, I should say. So Riku has his own two save files, so there are two for Sora, two for Riku. We're gonna do file one, let's begin. So when we last saw Riku in Kingdom Hearts 1, he got sealed behind the Door of Darkness. Where is he now? Ugh. Where... where am I? Sleep. Who's there? Sleep here between light and dark. Between what? The cane! Where's the cane? Together we close the door to darkness, and after that... Ah, why can't I remember? Your king is far away. Sleep, and leave the war with darkness in his hands. The forny light of awakening will bring only anguish to one in your state. Turn from the light. Shut your eyes. You talk like I'm some kind of demon of the dark. Can you face the truth? Here, blanketed by the darkness, sleep is safety. Sleep is eternal. Is this a card? Does that look like a card to you, Riku? It is a door to the truth. Take it, and your sleep ends. Take it, and take the first step toward the truth. But know this, the truth will bring you pain. Will you still go? There can be no returning to the sweet security of sleep. Yeah, well, seems like a boring place to take a nap anyway. Well said, Riku. So Riku gets to go to his own world, and he's in Castle Oblivion somehow. That's never really explained. A door to the truth, huh? And guess what? We start with Hollow Bastion! Yeah, you know, that castle that was really, really hard. Yeah, this is our first world. This'll be fun. This is Maleficent's castle! How'd I end up here? Someone must have brought me here while I was sleeping. But who? What you see is not real. It's the world of your memory. My memory? The things you remember of Maleficent's castle from your time there. Those memories became a card, and that card made this world. The things you see, you've seen them all before, haven't you? Yeah. So what now? Am I supposed to learn something while I'm here? Maybe run into someone I know? Ordinarily, yes. You would meet the people in your memories. Ordinarily? Hey, I'm asking you a question. Fine. But it'd be better if it'd be but it'd better be you I run across next voice. I'm sick of talking to Thin Air. And we get the key of beginning, so this looks a lot like Sora's story. We're in Hollow Bastion. Riku plays a bit differently from Sora. He's faster, he jumps much higher, and he uses a Soul Eater as his weapon, not a Keyblade. Also, the biggest difference between him and Sora? Riku can't build his own deck. He must battle using a closed deck with pre-selected cards. The deck Riku uses changes as he proceeds through the castle. So yeah, he does not have CP, he can't reorder his deck, he can't add cards or remove cards. He is given a deck, and he must make the most of it in each world. 
So right now we've got a bunch of these Soul Eater weapons. Riku's strength increases when you wielding Dark Power. That's a little cryptic. We have one potion, which quickly reloads cards, and honestly it's not that good. And in each world, Riku will receive a special enemy card to use. So in this one, we get the Defender, those really annoying guys with the shields, decreases damage from enemies' physical attacks. Hey, that's kind of nice. So they give us a free enemy card for us to use in every battle. So yeah, while Sora's story is kind of the more fantasy-esque video game style plotline, Riku's story is here to be a more realist story. It's here to tell us the realistic lesson, teach us the realistic lesson of sometimes life gives us a crappy deck, and we just have to make the most of it. So speak of the devil, here's the defender. So we're using the defender card. So Riku play, does play differently from Sora, and these these defenders are going to be really annoying to take out because we have no magic. This also means no bouncy wild card, which is unfortunate. Also, you'll see Riku here, he doesn't have the reload counter. If we just push the A button on this, it instantly reloads our deck. Which is honestly just as fast, if not faster, than using the potion. Which is kind of funny. So we're pretty much always going to use that defender card as our first move. And as you can see, the Hollow Bastion enemies have mercifully much less HP than they did in Sora's story. So Riku's actually got a pretty good deck in this world. That's nice. Sleeping Darkness. Alright, so this is Riku's level up situation. We are now level 3. I think we gained two level ups in that one battle. So Riku can level up three things. He can level up HP like Sora, he can level up AP, which boosts his attack power, or he can level up DP, which boosts his darkness. DP we will get into later. If you can ever upgrade attack, upgrade attack. Attack is like getting a new slate in Sora Story, you can't always level it up, only when you reach a certain level. Uh, so can you do that? I personally am not a huge fan of DP, so I'm going to mostly upgrade HP and AP. But we'll give DP a few boosts as well. So the fact that you don't get to build your own deck does make Riku's story a very unique, very different from Sora's story. And I like both. And we have a good deck here, which works well, but in later worlds we're going to be stuck with really, really, really bad decks, and we just have to kind of plow through it. And the deck is not random. The deck is predetermined, so every time you play Riku's story, the same worlds will give you the same decks. So that's nice. Alright, Dragoons. Oh, and Wizards. Wizards are nothing to worry about now, because we have no magic cards. Stroll Initiative, and we get another level up. Also, Riku has pretty much no methods of healing, so having a lot of HP is actually very, very important. You also notice because we can't build our own decks and we can't learn slates or like get new cards or anything like that, most of the map cards we saw in Sword Story and used a lot are not even going to be available to Riku. So all of the treasure chest rooms, Moogle rooms are not going to be available, premium rooms will not be available, white and black mushroom rooms are not going to be available. It's pretty much just heartless related cards. And that also means everything you hit in these rooms are going to drop HP orbs because there are no Moogles, so he has no use for Moogle points, and he can't get new cards. Alright, first door. So yeah, we have Teeming Darkness, Sleeping Darkness, Strong Initiative, Lasting Days, or Moments Reprieve. This is the story where Strong Initiative is really, really useful. But I only have one, so I'm not going to waste it. We'll do Sleeping Darkness. This also means that Riku's stories episodes will probably be shorter than Sora's stories, for the most part. Because a lot of the Sora story episodes, it was just me like, what should I put in my deck? We don't have to deal with that in this story. We do, unfortunately, have to focus on getting experience points, though. Because they're not just going to be drawn to us. I feel like there's a lot less strategy for Riku's story. Also, Riku has no slates. At least, as of right now, he does not. We might learn slates throughout the progression of the game, but we can't learn them through various of the various maps. Ooh, 
level up. Nice. Attack power, please. Boosting his AP is the only way to increase Riku's attack power, so very, very important for that. So as you can see, it only takes five attacks to kill these guys as opposed to six, because I leveled up my AP a few times. Almighty Darkness. I would never want to use Almighty Darkness. Let's also look at the map. Fairly small map. We've got these exclamation points to go through. Most of the time, 9 times out of 10, or in this case 11 times out of 12, Riku will only have the key of beginnings for these worlds. This is the only world where he has all three of the main keys. And he never has the key of rewards. Alright, 4 or higher. Stroll Initiative. Stroll Initiative is really useful for Riku's story. It was decent for Sora's story, but Riku's story is really useful. Makes battles go by much faster. Mingling worlds, we are already getting that. We can stock cards in Riku's story if we want, but there's not much point if we can't make slates, because again, Riku has a fixed deck, so permanently losing those cards in the battle by stocking them is a really bad idea. First, Crown Door, Key of Beginnings. We need a red card. We'll use Almighty Darkness, because that card is terrible. And then, Key of Beginnings. It's like he said. Everything's just how I remember it. Even this room. It must be nice being back in your old bedroom. Think of all the memories. You again. Sorry, but these memories I could do without. Maleficent gave me this room. So she did, and you lived here, tempted by the darkness she offered. You cast away your home, your friends, everything. But at least they gave you a nice room. Shut up. Oh, interesting. We get the key of guidance though, so that's cool. I love how high Riku can jump. Like, he doesn't even need the trampolines the map provides him with. Alrighty, seven or higher, let's use our Tranquil Darkness. Another level up. Let's boost DP now. DP increases by two every level up. So we now have ten DP. And again, that won't actually be prevalent until the next world. Alrighty, next room. Stagnant space now. Let's use the lasting days. A lot of the map cards Riku gets are some of my favorites for Riku's story, which is nice. Strong initiative, I'm looking at you. Lasting days is also good though. One nice thing is because there are only ever HP orbs and all this stuff, we don't really have to search the rooms, like, extensively. So the worlds go by really quickly. We need a green card. Any green card. We'll use a stagnant space. I don't really like those. And key of guidance. No one here either. There's nothing but Heartless in this castle. Voice! I know you're watching, so explain this. Where are the people from my memories? Tell me! Are you sure you want to see them? Of course I do. But you cast them aside. To reach the outside world, you passed through the door to darkness. Behind you, you left family, friends, home, everything all in pursuit of darkness. But I cast that aside too! Then what do you have to show for it? First your home, then the dark. Your heart only knows how to throw things away. It's empty, like that room. Like your memories. That's why no one is in the castle with you. Your heart is hollow, except for the darkness you couldn't quite shake off. 
You're full of it. I rejected the darkness. Ha ha ha. Did you really now? Uh-oh. Not sure if this voice is friendly or not. But I've got to say, I'm really, really loving that music. The Scent of Silence is an amazing song. Who needs ladders when you can jump as high as Riku? Good lord. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh well, yeah, Mingling Worlds, why not? If it's something stupid like Almighty Darkness, I can always just change it slightly. Oh, cool, it's Feeble Darkness. That's much better. Yeah, these guys can barely damage me. It's awesome. Another level up. Alright, let's do HP. Expect Riku to get a lot more HP than Sora did in Sora's story. Alrighty, we're on the last crown door already. Five or higher. Oh, Almighty Darkness won't work with that. We'll do Looming Darkness. And Key of Truth. What are you doing here? I knew you'd return, Riku. Maleficent! You're alive?! You haven't been paying attention. I am but a figment of your memory. Of all the people I could run into, it had to be you. Who else? Your heart is steeped in darkness. You can only see people who exist in that same darkness. People like me. No. Be grateful you have someone to keep you company. Your heart is empty, were it not for the darkness in your heart. You would be completely alone. That's sounding pretty good right about now. Oh snap, Riku! Come now, you once clung to me to sate your hunger for darkness. You want me here. Who else but I can give you the darkness you long for? There was a time I did want you around. I surrendered my heart to the dark. But never again. You and your darkness have nothing to offer. All I did was lose myself. Empty myself. I'm finished with all that. If I'm stuck seeing people like you, people of the dark, I'll take you out one by one. Then don't forget to take yourself out last. Because you, like me, are one of the dark. That's fine with me. I turned to darkness because my heart was weak. I hate that weakness. It's like I'm my own enemy. And seeing people like you embrace the darkness just makes it worse. Enough talk, Maleficent. So you hate the darkness enough to fight it. Oh, the agony you must feel. Let me end your pain, Riku. End it forever with the wondrous power of darkness. So we get to fight Dragon Maleficent as our first boss. You know, the boss that killed me in Sora's story. But she's ridiculously easy in so uh, Riku's story. I guess Riku's anger against Maleficent is just that great. She's incredibly weak and has very little HP. And pretty weak valued cards as well. The only annoying thing is hitting her head, which seems to have very odd hitbox. And, oh yeah, we, I forgot, we can still get the Mickey Mouse cards. But she's already dead. <laughs> Man, Riku, you're the boss. And we do get the Dragon Maleficent card for doing that, so that's one really nice thing about Riku's story. Alright, let's upgrade DP, I guess. Yeah, so we get the Mo Dragon Maleficent card. What that essentially does is every time you beat a boss, you still get their boss card, and then that gets permanently added to all of the decks that you get in the worlds. So we now have the Maleficent card in our deck forever. And the best part is, because the Dragon Maleficent card in Sora's story... Like, it was fairly well balanced because it was expensive to equip, and you didn't get it till like halfway through the game, and it slowed down your reload speed. Riku doesn't suffer from the reload speed penalty because he always reloads instantly. He has it, the Dragon Maleficent card for pretty much the entire game, 
and it gets automatically added to his deck. It, you don't even need CP to equip it, so now we just have an amazing card in our deck. Alright, free or hot. Wait. I thought that was supposed to be the end. Oh no, we have one more world to get, or we have one more room to get through. Alright, well, I'm tired of this. Well, I can't use Moments Reprieve, I guess. Teeming Darkness, I guess? Sure, we'll fight a lot more Heartless. I can also show off the Dragon Maleficent card, and how good it is. As you can see, we almost killed a defender with one combo. And we effortlessly were able to kill the wizard. That did not seem like enough Heartless for te the Teeming Darkness card. Oh well. Let's get out of this dump. Why do you shun the dark? Oh, come on. I know you heard every word I said to Maleficent. Darkness is your weapon. I need you to accept it. Why do you care? Stop resisting and accept the darkness. You must. If you are to serve me again. Oh, look! It's Shirtless McDarkness! Ansem. Just as I thought. You don't seem surprised. You always were chatty when it came to darkness. Oh snap! Riku laying on the law! <laughs> so let me guess. You want to pull me back into the darkness and play Puppet Master again, right? Clever boy. You'll make a fine host. Now surrender to me again and... You're insane! There won't be an again. Ugh, this was the bad guy from Kingdom Hearts 1, for people who don't know. Did you really think you could harm me? A weakling like you couldn't even defeat Sora, and you had darkness on your side. Excuse me for being weak. You need the darkness. Submit. Bow to the darkness and bow to me. Not a chance. Only darkness can help you now. You're wrong! That voice! Your Majesty, is that you? You betcha! Riku, you're not alone! Listen careful now, Riku! That light'll never give up on you! You'll always find it, even in the deepest darkness, but you have to believe! I will! <laughs> Hear that? I'm not losing to the darkness today, Ansem. You think some feeble light can save you from the darkness, I command? Fool. We get to fight Ansem! And it's only the first floor! So as you can see, our deck has changed from our Hollow Bastion deck, but we still have Dragon Maleficent. <laughs> no! <laughs> also, get used to hearing SUBMIT a lot! So while Sora had Donald and Goofy as his ally, we have King Mickey as our ally. Alright, him having that is a bit of a problem, but luckily we've got zero cards right at the, the bottom of our deck, much like I might enjoy using in my playthrough. And yeah, Ansem's pretty simple. Just use zero cards to break his slates and you'll be fine. And we get a level up! Nice! Let's level up our attack power, obviously. Oh, it, attack only goes up by one per level up. That all you've got? It seems you are intent on resisting the darkness. Very well. See with your own eyes. What are those? They are cards crafted from your memory. Advance through the worlds they beget, and you will come to understand. Chasing the light will not distance you from the dark. You cannot run. Who's running? Give me the cards. I'll enter those worlds, and in the end, if I haven't given up, I win. I have one more gift for you. What did you do? I tempered the darkness that remains in your heart. 
What? You still think that I'd rely on darkness? Whether or not you use it is your choice. I'll be waiting, Riku, for you to come to your senses and yield to the darkness. The darkness! The darkness in Riku's heart has been fortified. He can now enter dark mode in battle. Riku's dark points DP will fill as he takes damage or breaks opponent's cards. When the DP displayed below Riku's HP gauge reaches a certain level, D Riku will transform and enter dark mode. Riku can only use slates while in dark mode. Losing a card break or taking damage will deplete DP, and when Riku's DP reaches zero, he will return to normal. Riku can increase his maximum DP upon leveling up. With higher DP, Riku can stay in dark mode for a longer period of time. Here's the thing. Oh, we get world cards. So, dark Riku mode, he gets free slates. One is dark break, which basically lets him slash enemies' heads automatically. It's pretty good. One is dark Fyraga, which deals a lot of damage, but is kind of unwieldy. The third is dark aura, which was the insane slate Riku, dark Riku, uh, the Riku replica I tried to use in Sora's story. We can use that for ourselves, and it's pretty awesome, but it also is, again, kind of unwieldy, and it requires free 9 cards to use, which is, the odds of you having free 9 cards in your deck are pretty low. So, the, really the only thing about Dark Mode that's great is you're more powerful, your combos are a bit better, and you're more acrobatic while in it. But honestly, Dark Mode really doesn't help you for common enemies. It's only really useful for a few bosses, which is why I prefer leveling up HP over DP. Oh, this is interesting. Who are these losers? Don't I even get a hello, Lexius? Oh, it's this doofus. What's going on, Zexian? I demand an explanation. Nice to see you too, Vexen. You know, it's deplorable. The organization used to be the rope that binds us. And now it's full of kinks. How dare you! Let it go, Vexen! Zexion, tell us, what did you detect? Visitors, I picked up two scents in the castle's lowest basement. One of them was Maleficent, but... Absurd! The witch is gone! She cannot return from the realm of darkness of her own volition. If you'd let me finish, the scent belonged to a very convincing double. But I can't say much beyond that, since the world, since the would-be Maleficent is no more. Our other visitor saw to that. Who is it? I don't know, but the scent was very similar to the superiors. Exactly similar, if I may say. Rubbish! Fact, Vexen. Now what shall we do? Let us bide our time and see what develops. Oh, we have two new characters we haven't seen before. This will be interesting. Something tastes kind of funny. It's just that morning taste, Riku. What is it? It's so familiar. Darkness. The taste of darkness. What's happened to me? The darkness even seeps into my senses. Don't you worry, Riku! Your Majesty! What happened to you? You're all... fuzzy. I can only send a little bit of my power here, but I have a request. A request? From Your Majesty? Riku, don't let go of yourself just because darkness has a hold on you. Fight the darkness inside you. It won't be easy. But don't forget, even in the darkest darkness, there's always a little light. Yeah, you've said that before, Mickey. Thanks for being cheesy. Light within darkness? You and I have seen it! The far-off, welcoming light inside the door to darkness. The light of Kingdom Hearts! Riku, it'll show you the way. Please don't give up. Believe in the light. That's all I ask. Okay. I'll try my best. And I'll try to find a way to reach you. I'll come, I promise. 
You're... an illusion? My hand passes right through you. But we shook hands in our hearts! We're connected, you and me! Yeah, I guess so. So it helps that we have Mickey on our side, and we're in Castle Oblivion Basement 11. So we were on Basement 12, now we're in Basement 11. We go all the way up to Basement 1. You'll notice Riku only has 12 floors to go through, whereas Sora had 13. Riku never visits the Hundred Acre Wood, because... Let's be honest, the Hundred Acre Wood for Riku would be pointless, because he can't get cards. <laughs> so, yeah. We have 12 floors to go through, and we've got four cards to work with, so we'll have four cards, basically, for this one, and then after those are gone, we'll get another four cards. And, like Sora's story, we can visit the world in pretty much any order that we want. And we'll get more into that later. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. To the next time, we'll be going to a brand new world and showing off more of Riku's story. Hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.